Hi, my name is Mr. Klotz. In the last video, we talked about how to make a great sound on the recorder by using slow, gentle, warm air, by covering all the holes completely, thinking about the donut test, and we talked about a music skill called tonguing, which is separating the notes with our tongue. We also learned our first note, which is B. If you missed that last video, I highly recommend that you watch that one before this one. Let's review B. Make sure you have your left hand. It's the one that makes an L when you're looking at the back of it. Now cover that hole that's all by itself with your thumb print of your left hand. Not your thumb tip, because that might leave a finger leak. Use your thumb print. Cover the top hole with your fingerprint of your index finger and match my sound. Now let's try a few tonguing patterns without the recorder. Now let's try those tonguing patterns while playing a beat. And as you can see, B is on the middle line of the music staff. What that means is, every time you see a note head on the middle line, you play B on the recorder. The next pitch is A. A is on the second space of the music staff, and we're going to be covering the back hole, top hole, and now we're going to add this hole covered by our left hand middle. And it should sound like this. Try some tonguing patterns while playing an A. And now that we know two pitches, let's see if we can switch back and forth. If you notice, I'm only moving one finger. And this is how you switch from A to B. So let's start with A. Lift one finger to get to B. These two are still covering the holes. They don't move at all. And if you need to, pause the video here. Practice switching from A to B quite a few times. Now let's talk about G. G is on the second line of the music staff, and to play it, you cover the back hole, top hole, next hole, and then the next hole with your ring finger in your left hand. And it should sound like this. And if you didn't get that sound, it's probably one of two reasons. One, you might have been playing too hard, so make sure you're breathing slow, gentle, warm air. The second reason, probably the more common reason, is that you might have a finger leak somewhere. So check for finger leaks, especially the thumb hole. That's the most common finger leak. I guess I should call that a thumb leak, huh? So make sure all those holes are covered completely with the donut test, which is squeeze and hold for a few seconds. And now let go, and you should have a donut in your index, or pointer finger, middle, ring, and thumb. And that donut circle should go all the way around. If it only goes part way around, try it a few more times. Let's try some tonguing patterns with G. Great, now let's see if we can switch from G to A. Notice I'm only moving my ring finger. Awesome. Now, last but not least, let's see if we can do a music pattern that uses all three pitches that we know so far. B. A, G. Give it a try. 
Once again. And if you were able to play that, then congratulations, you can now play most of what you need to for our very first song. I'm not going to tell you what that first song is, but I'll give you a clue right here. And in my next video, we're going to cover how to play this song by thinking in patterns. Songs are so much easier when you think patterns. So until next time, play music every day because music is a lot of fun. So I always want to encourage you to keep on making music.